Good evening, friends. I hope you're all doing well. I'm also fine. Today, I'm going to show you how you can easily create a Kubernetes cluster with Minikube in Google Cloud. So let's get started. Uh, there are many managed services available for Kubernetes. In AWS, we have EKS. In Google, we have GKE. But sometimes we have to uh, do some testings, especially on like different things for learning purposes, and you don't want to use those managed services. What you can do is like you can install it on your own machine and you can use it on uh, the Google Cloud as well by using a virtual machine. So I'm going to show you today how you can use this virtual machine to uh, create a new cluster, test different things, do some experiments, and then once done, you just delete the machine. That's it, very simple. There is no real big problem on that. So let's get started. The first thing is that I have I am in my Google Cloud dashboard, and here I, in the search box, if I type uh, "compute engine," this is the popular searches. I will see all my virtual machines running in this uh, Google Cloud. At this moment, there is no instance running, so I'm going to create a new instance, and then um, you can choose the operating system from this marketplace. I'm going to choose Ubuntu. By the way, you can do this same with AWS as well with running an EC2 instance. If you search here Ubuntu, there will be a lot of images coming up. Let's choose the 22.04. This is the latest image at this moment. So I'm going to choose that and let's get started. I agree. Okay, so this is our main package. Mm. Probably I've done something wrong, maybe. Let's cancel it. So let's go to compute engine sections. Yeah, I probably have done something wrong so apologies for that go to marketplaces and then um, choose ubuntu and then this is the one oh, i think here 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 is i, I choose something wrong it should be 22 uh, yeah, here it is. So it's Ubuntu 22.04 jamming. Yeah, there it is. So launch. Okay, give it a name. So I'm going to install mini queue. So mini queue. Sample. Everything looks okay. So let's create. Okay, it will take one or two minutes to get it uh, get become it uh, available. So meanwhile, I just go to the documentation. So I'm going to install uh, Docker in Ubuntu. I think here it is. These are very, very basic, so you can just do that by copy these codes and run it. Alternatively, I can search for Minikube. Here it is, Minikube. So this is the documentation for Minikube, how to install it. 
okay both looks good so here i am uh, my instance is ready so let's go here and then ssh i want to connect with ssh from the browser Okay, so this is my uh, terminal, and this is the this is the SSH in browser. It's quite nice. So let's clear this screen and uh, sudo apt get update. Let's update everything. And then I'm going to go to the Docker documentation. Just copy this command. And paste it in here. Terminal, so paste it here. Let's see if everything is working fine. Looks good. Okay, all good. So let's clear this screen one more time. So we have <clears throat> added the apt repository and then it's time to install the docker here it is i paste the command so what it runs is uh, sudo apt get install docker c docker cd cli container dot io docker build x plugin docker compose plugin okay so everything that you need for docker it's there Right, that's good. It is installing everything. Let's clear. I've installed Docker. Now let's go to Minikube. To install Minikube, we can just uh, copy these commands, copy here, and run it into your terminal. Okay. You might get an issue that. Um, Let's, let's do the installation part. So mini cube installation is done. Um, right, mini cube start. You might get an error is that your Docker not healthy. So what we have to do is um, let's start Docker, right? System CTL start Docker. CTL start Docker. Okay, Docker has been started. Now let's run the Minikube start. Well, uh, let's see what they're saying. It's they're saying it that you need to add a user in the Docker group. Okay, let's see. We, we can we add a new user here. So, copy it. Okay, now let's see if I can run Minikube start. Yeah, now it's good. So, we have uh, we have to just add this user 
to the Docker group and that should be fine. Now the Minikube is able to pull the Kubernetes 1.2.1.28 and then it will start the Kubernetes cluster. It is the minimalistic version, so it will run only one node. There is no multi node, one node only. But <clears throat> even if it's one node, you can uh, try out all the examples that you need for the CKA exam, Kubernetes certified administrator. So if you are planning to run the CKA exam, you should be able to um, test all your examples using this process. Okay, the first time it might take some time. What you can do is like when you are done, then you can pause the instance. And then when you are again, just started testing, then you can run the instance. And uh, for production level, I would suggest always use uh, the managed Kubernetes, GKE, or maybe EKS, but not managed by yourself. That's not, not the ideal thing. But to learn it and to understand how the things are actually running behind this, you need to uh, explore everything by yourself as well. Okay, so what I see is that my Minikube is uh, able to run the Kubernetes. So what I can do is like, you can just do this. If you haven't installed kubectl, right? So uh, if you haven't installed kubectl, then you have to run Minikube kubectl uh, get pods. Let's see if I can. Okay, kubectl is not installed. What I can do is like I can run kubectl uh, from here, Google. Kubectl download. So, install kubectl on Linux. I can do that with package manager. So this is Debian based, right? Red Hat, no, this is Debian based. I'm going to just copy this line. And then I'm going to run it. This one. Okay, so now. Here it says that uh, at the appropriate Kubernetes APT repository, if you want to use Kubernetes version different than 1.29, replace. I think I need to uh, copy this line. Sorry, I need to copy this line. Copy this line and open my atom. So here, I'm just going to use 1.28 because that is what my mini cube installed. Let's see if there is anything else. Okay, let's copy this. And run it here. Next, let's go to the next instruction.
let's see if uh, that is doing the trick. Okay, it is searching installation oh, unable to look at package cube. Okay, I'm go not going to try anymore. What we can do is like we can install it via snap. So let's see, snap install cube cutter classic. If you can do that with snap, that is also another way. Otherwise, there are different ways. Might need to add sudo. <clears throat> oh, oops. let's see. You better get PO. Yeah, that is good. So I think snap is <laughs> there's one line code only. I don't need to do all those shit, shitty things. So I suggest you use snap for installing cube cuttle if you haven't installed. If you already have installed, that also fine. And alternatively, you can use like mini cube space cube cuttle. That is also a way to use it. Mini cube pro has internally cube cuttle for running these things. So we see we these are ports like core DNS, etcd, uh, API server, controller, proxy, storage, everything. Now let's see uh, what the nodes are going. So sorry, get I have to space add and space. We have only one node, name is Minikube, right? And we can be describe node. Minikube and we see everything here. So CPU, memory, these are logs or events. What is happening here? That's good. Okay. So that's being said, you are now uh, ready. You already launched a Kubernetes cluster on your own machine. You can do the same thing if you have a Linux machine or going to running on your own home PC. You can do this and you can run all those things. And then once this is done, you can just destroy the virtual machine. What I don't like to use it in local machine is that sometimes you have all those things setting up and messing up your local PC, which is not really ideal. So I would suggest you to uh, use this Google provider and uh, do the thing for you. So that's it for today. I hope this is like uh, this helped you to get started with Kubernetes. And uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to this channel and share it with your friends. Thank you, everyone. Allah Hafiz.